2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. And coming right up, we'll see the Denver Nuggets playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. Last outing for Los Angeles, unsuccessful, coming away with a loss to Golden State. They suffered a blowout loss trying to leave that one in the rear view and focus on the game at hand. And Kenny, oh, we have lots to talk about. One thing coming up on the horizon, the trade deadline, mm. front offices have had time to evaluate rosters. What are your feelings about blockbuster in-season trades? Huge deals are rare in the season, Ernie. You know, huge typically deals. huge deals, you know, but typically they come in the off season because teams have time to nurture and bring them again. But there have been some great trades in midseason. Uh, so you can fly, find new life right after the trade li deadline, a la Clyde Drexler, the Houston Rockets uh -huh. to get us our second championship. Good point. New players would be slow to acclimate. But I, I, mean, I think at times you risk disrupting chemistry. Mm. Sometimes worth the risk. And sometimes not. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like a nut. And sometimes, sometimes I, I don't. don't. Kevin Harlan, take it away. everyone 2k sports brings you the nba this is kevin harlan with greg anthony and clark kellogg and our sideline reporter david aldridge we've got the los angeles lakers and the denver nuggets and contavious caldwell pope continues to remain sidelined with the injury kevin yeah, yeah he got injured a few games ago and it has been tough without it Clark, assess the center position right now in the NBA. I'm, I'm talking about elite centers and their place in the game. Well, the center position has changed, Kevin. You don't have a lot of back-to-the-basket centers anymore. More of the big guys are stepping out and are more like stretch fours than traditional big guys. What you have in the center position now typically are rebounders and rim protectors. Not many dominant scores um, on the low block. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for the Lakers right now, the big men are Nance and Lopez. Hart is out there with Ball, and it's Ingram in at the three. Jacks up a three, and again it's the Lakers from deep. And when Ingram is left alone from deep, his eyes just light up. 
His shooting is just out of sight. Murray kicks to Jokic. And the pass to Millsap. Over Nance. And again, Denver no good. Los Angeles has gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Nance a screen. Ball. And the shot is long. The Nuggets have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Nance. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. So close to getting the steal there, but the deflection equally as effective. Yeah, refusing to give up anything easy. Solid defense, and I like that attitude. The Lakers on D. Jokic passes to Harris. Back to Jokic. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Here's Harris. He had 15 points last out. Shot clock at five. Fires from the wing. Brandon Ingram is as complete a player as they come. I mean, not only awesome on offense, but spectacular on defense as well. And they're able to recover. Off the left rim and out. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's Harris. Connects on the 17-footer. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Yeah, I like the quick release, Greg. He does a nice job getting it up quickly, especially when he's facing a bigger defender. Now here's Nance taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. Here's Ingram. Here's Lopez. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Lopez has got five now. Yeah, bully ball in his way to the rack that time. Lopez with a great second effort. Now here's Murray. Defense is right there. Here's Chandler. That's tipped. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Ball with the bucket. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break. Transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. And here is Harris following Lonzo Ball's three. Here's Hart. He's coming off a 10-point game against Golden State. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Now Harris after Brandon Ingram missing on that last three-pointer. And that one, good. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Ball kicks to Nance. Gets Ingram atop the key. Now, here's Ball. He's covered by Murray. Ball, no good. Boy, he's having a tough time right now. Seems like he's forcing his shot a bit to me, Kevin. Not letting it come in the flow of the game. Now, here's Jokic. In the game against Chicago, very impressive. Six on the shot clock for three. Murray, good. And Harris gets the assist. Got to give respect to the range of Murray. I mean, he can nail it from distance. And the Lakers, Greg, have acquired some intriguing young talent. Do you see this group blossoming into elite status? I mean, there's still some question marks. Injuries ha have been an issue. Uh, I do see some all-star potential for some of their young fellows. Superstar potential, though, mm, tougher to say. They've got something to build on, though, and that's key. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting, just about 73%. And, guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line.
free throw good from Nance. And during this part of the season, a lot of lengthy road trips can be found for teams in the league. Clark, I would assume it's maybe sometimes hard to play at your best when you've been on the road for a long time. Oh, there's no question about it. I mean, there's a galvanizing aspect to being on the road because it's just you and your teammates against the opponent. But when you're out on the road for a long time, things can get a little stale. You can become a little distracted. So it becomes very difficult, particularly for young teams, to work through the grind and adversity of being on the road. Veteran guys are used to it, but the young fellows often struggle with that. One shot. Free throw, good. Jokic. And last season, how about the jump to true stardom that, that Jokic was able to make? There, there was a stretch where every game he just looked more and more incredible. Truly gave this team, I think, a franchise player in the blink of an eye. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. And here is Ball. 17 points for him last game against Golden State. Yeah, passed the ball well that last time out. Pinpoint passes and racked up a bunch of assists. It's stolen by Nance. Ball with it. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Out to Nance. Three-pointer. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. And for so many fans, Greg, of Jokic, it wasn't a surprise to see his play blossom last season. Yeah, and boy, did he. Jokic is so skilled for a big man, having played point guard growing up. Still very young and looks to be a star for a long time. Los Angeles shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. free throw good from Nance and Larry Nance Clark one of the few young Lakers who is a positive at the defensive end of the floor exactly Kevin very impressive at that end he's solid understands positioning and guarding his guy and helping out his teammates long and athletic and eager to get after it defensively both free throws good from Nance the Nuggets trail by six Now here's Murray. 14 points from him the last game against Chicago. Millsap sets the pick for Harris. Back to Chandler. Just four to shoot. Using his post moves to get the two points. Chandler's got his first basket. Los Angeles leading by four. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with head coach Luke Walton. Well, Kevin, the crucial aspect in his mind is making things tough for them inside. He said they're a physical team, and they bring a lot of intensity. If we don't respond when they push us, we'll just get bullied all game. They're going to get down in the paint tonight, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. Kept alive. Here's Jokic. Millsap a screen on Lopez. Deep two from Murray. Lopez with the block. Great timing on Lopez's part there to swat down that attempt. Here's Hart up the floor. From 10 feet out, a second chance effort. Good defense by Jokic. Boy, the defense was great. Superb, stellar, platinum level. Can't really contest that shot any better than that. Mm. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Brooke Lopez. And really the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line.
Shooting two. Free throw, good. Jokic. And really, the Nuggets a stronger team than many had predicted last season. One area that troubled them was the defensive end. And when they would lose, it was usually by being unable to come up with consistent stops. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Fareed's checked in for Millsap. Jefferson comes in for Wilson Chandler. Will Barton, he's checked in for Gary Harris. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Jamal Murray. Textbook shooting from the strike. Great form, soft release, mark it up. Zubats kicks to Clarkson. Feeds to Randall. Rebounded by Fareed. And for the Nuggets and their defensive issues, Greg, a lot of it stemmed from their lack of rim protection. Yeah, and the inability to challenge shots in general, for that matter. And they also had problems applying pressure and forcing turnovers as a team at the bottom of the league in terms of turnover sports. Great look, but he couldn't finish everything but is how we say that. Surprising since the defense was very pedestrian. Zubac, no good. I can't explain what happened there, Kevin. I mean, he had the layup. Looked like it was a simple play. Somehow the defense threw him off just enough to cause a miss. Los Angeles has gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Picked by Randall. Ennis kicks to Randall over for Reed. And there's Randall on the assist by Ennis. And the Lakers lead by two. Doesn't have the fastest release. Uh, Randall has to hit that one with the hand in his face. Martin dishes to Moutier. Fareed setting the pick for Moutier. Pass to Jokic. Screen by Fareed. Moutier kicks to Jefferson. Connects from three-point range. And it's crucial that Jefferson sink these perimeter shots. Certainly has the touch to do so. I just think he needs to raise his consistency. Now here's Ennis. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Picked by Randall. Ennis in the corner. Five on the clock. Shoots off the screen. Count that one. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Now, Moutier. He averages a bit over six points a game. Pass to Jokic. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Jokic has got seven points. Man, you like the intelligence he plays with. You gotta respect that. Gets to his spot and scores efficiently. Zubac, the pass to Ennis. They set the pick. Zubac with it. He's against Jokic. Zubac with it. Now defended by Jokic. No good from Zubac. Denver in the lead. Here's Moutier. His last outing, he had eight points. They get it back. Can't get it to fall. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Here's Moutier after the made shot from Tyler Ennis. And here's Jokic. Seven points in the game. Shoots over Zubac. Second shot opportunity. Stolen by Zubac. Randall kicks to Ennis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Ennis sets the screen for Randall. He feeds it to Ennis. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And the Nuggets, over the past few seasons, have done a great job as an organization of collecting talent. And with that steady approach, they've been able to develop a star with Jokic. The, the Nuggets took a very disciplined approach to building this team, and, and you can see the depth they enjoy, and it all starts with the job this front office has done.
and he makes the first. Well, you know, historically, the Lakers have been a glamour franchise and have been able to attract top-tier free agents. The temptation exists to skip any rebuilding and instead look to reload with new stars. We'll see if that pays dividends going forward. And the Nuggets making a change here. Humley's checked in, and Ennis drops them both. And Coach Walton has said, when you build from within, you control your own destiny. What do you think, Clark? Should they build slowly but surely or look to land the, the big free agent? Well, I think you do a combination of the two, but slow and steady usually wins the race. I know in this day and age we want everything microwave, but one of the questions for the Lakers is how many of these young guys have real star potential? Who are those guys you can build around? And if you don't see it, the temptation grows stronger to go out and try to find that ready-made star. Here's Zubats. Wumley with some nice D. Nuggets trail. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Martin dishes to Fareed. We've got 13 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Moutier. The Lakers with the rebound. Zubats has got four rebounds in this game. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Lakers ahead, leading by a point. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The, the pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Just jumped all over them, Greg. I mean, pounced on them, using their length and quickness to come away with those steals. Moutier with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Taking a look at the Lakers. They've got Ivica Zubats. Ennis out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Randall. And it's Kuzma in at the three. The small forward. Lock at six. Here's Moutier. No good that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. And moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That, that's always a game changer. Yeah, you don't want to leave that lettuce at the line, man. Easy points available at the free throw line. You've got to cash those in. Now here's Ennis. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at five. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Emmanuel Moutier spent a year in China prior to the NBA rather than playing in college. A lot of people respect what he did while he was over there. He said, being in a foreign country, everything is different. It made me mentally strong. Now in the NBA, he said, you've got to have confidence because every point guard in this league can play. You've got to keep that edge and be prepared at all times. Kevin? Thanks, David. Mental fortitude is critical, especially when you're a young player in this league. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Clark, when you watch a team that's clicking on offense, what are some of the smaller things, the small details that are setting them apart? Well, a couple of things. One is solid screen setting. That's huge because that's an unselfish act when you set a screen to get somebody else open. Then ball movement, being willing to go past a good opportunity for a next pass best opportunity. And I think the Golden State Warriors do that as well as any team in, in basketball. The extra pass, sharing the ball, and giving themselves up for each other. Now here's Ennis. Passes it to Clarkson. 
They set the pick. Fires for three. And the Lakers with another miss. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, I'm sure he's frustrated, Greg, because nothing is falling right now. But he's going to keep chipping away at it, and that's the attitude. Stay with him. Hits the three-point bomb. Improving shot mechanics. Good height on that jumper. Nice arc. I like what I see there from Clarkson. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Moutier with the ball. Now guarded by Ennis. Fareed setting the pick for Barton. Off the pick. Offensive rebound. Here's Jefferson. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Kuzma. Defended by Moutier. Inside. And there's Randall on the assist by Ennis. And now a four-point Laker lead. That's a nice move by Randall. That's the area where he likes to work most. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Oh, for Reed in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's Ennis following the basket by Kenneth Fareed. Not often you see him take that shot. Kuzma's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Nuggets trail by five. Barton outside to the left wing. Here's Moutier, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Bulls. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Yeah, you know what? The waters were calm for most of the game. I mean, little resistance felt like they could get any look they wanted at any time. Well, I tell you what, they've got to be fuming. I mean, they were way too late in contesting that layup. The pass to Zubats. Rebound by the Nuggets. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Hits it from three-point range. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And one of the things about Will Barton's game that, to me, makes him such a force is how unpredictable he can be. He plays at times almost like a man out of control, and it really does work to his advantage as he is a difficult guy to deal with in those one-on-one -on -one situations. And to back up the point with Barton in his chaotic play style, he knows exactly what he's about. Famously saying, Greg, <laughs> I'm so creative most of the time, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that might sound glib, but it is just how Barton plays. I mean, a fantastic competitor who just does what it takes to win. He gives you a little bit of everything out on the floor. Kept alive. Here's Nance, and it's sent back by Plumley. the wing Chandler he picked up 15 points in the last win against Chicago Millsap and plenty of contact on the shot so two free throws coming up and the Lakers get called for the foul tell you what Paul Millsap one of my favorite players because he's so effective scores at an efficient clip rebounds the ball well and defends multiple positions too he gives you everything Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And when you talk about just a natural basketball player, I think you got to envision a guy like Paul Millsap. He just does it all. He's got the skill level and versatility at that power forward position. And in this league today, you have to be able to impact the game the way he does. Both free throws good for Millsap. 
And you look at all the different things that Paul Millsap does for you on the court, Greg. Don't forget about the defensive end of the floor, too. Yeah, great point. And all defense selection, uh, one of the great big men in league history in terms of getting steals. Just unbelievable hands. And you know what? He epitomizes consistency when you look at the course of his career. And that one's good by Lopez. Just because Lopez is a big guy doesn't mean he can't knock that down. Millsap left side. Over Nance. That one a little long. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. And here is Murray after Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep. And Plumley kicks to Murray. Millsap up top. Over Nance. Plumley tipped back in for two. Plumley's got his first two points. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip-in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not going to make plays like that unless you expend the energy. Here's Lopez following the basket by Mason Plumley. And then slams it in. And when Ball has the ball, it's in good hands. He can run the offense, no doubt. Now here's Murray. Defense is right there. Over in the corner, Chandler. Another three for Denver. L.A.'s gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And they pick up two. And the Lakers lead by two. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Millsap a screen. Murray the pass to Plumley. Six on the shot clock. Out to Chandler. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Los Angeles has gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Here's Nance. Lays it up off the glass. Now it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. And doing much better now in that first quarter, converting less than 30% of their field goal opportunities. Bouncing back nicely here in the second. Now here's Chandler. He's got five. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. For three, Murray. Hey, it's hard to teach reach. Ball has a nice extension to him and superb at being able to challenge shooters because of it. Lakers leading by four. Lopez a screen. Nance dishes to Ingram. Pass to Hart. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Nance. Nance with another miss. Denver's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Plumley sets the pick for Chandler. Millsap against Nance. It's tipped. Ingram with the steal. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. Lopez, no luck. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. The shot, no good. Nance with some nice D. In the corner, it's Ingram. From the arc, that shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. And they're not afraid to let it fly from deep. They're looking to extend their lead with the three ball here in the second quarter. Now here's Murray. D right on him. He dishes it to Millsap. Just five on the clock. Here's Plumley. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. The Nuggets have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts.
gentlemen. Two shots. Move shot. That's good from Plumley And Clark, just how important to a team is it to have a veteran presence on it? Like, how did the vets on the Pacers help you when you were a rookie or a young player in the league? You know what? I think it's invaluable, Kevin. I was a 21-year-old rookie. I left after my junior year at Ohio State. And veteran players, Herb Williams, had been there a year or two. And guys like Billy Knight and George Johnson, Butch Carter were around. And having those guys talk about what it takes and we were a very um, young team and had young veterans but still they were invaluable in terms of giving you an example of how to go about your business to be successful as a pro Harris kicks to Murray good and Harris gets the assist Murray's got five now no answer for Murray from the defense so far absolutely ferocious at taking it inside that's too hard He kicks it to Ingram. Lopez a screen. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. He's got 11. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. To the middle. Stolen. Now here's Ball. He's covered by Murray. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Right side, Millsap. Chandler, the pass to Millsap. Up and in on the layup. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. Lakers leading by five. Now here's Ingram. He's coming off a 13-point game against Golden State. Lopez a screen to the paint. Here's Ball. No good on that one. And it's Denver the other way. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. And in the last face-off against these guys, they enjoyed a huge advantage in free throw percentage. Yeah, it was really simple. I mean, you look at the numbers, they did a better job of knocking down the free throw. Here's Ball. Gary Harris making his last shot. Passes it to Hart. Three-pointer. Here's Lopez. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Just like clockwork, Lopez doing damage inside. Now Murray. Five points in the game. And Millsap slams it in. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. And the Lakers call time here. And a name that a lot of NBA teams were in on this past offseason was Paul Millsap. Uh, his ability to shoot from outside and play in the post was, was wanted all over the league. And the Nuggets were the team, ultimately, that was able to land him. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three-pointers and two-pointers tonight for the Lakers. Lakers leading by three. And for the Nuggets, Millsap, Greg, seems to be what they want in the four. You know, he pairs well with Jokic and, and others on this team. Gives them some shooting and rebounding, plus his overall versatility is what separates him. The Nuggets seem to jump out of nowhere to sign him, but when you look at things, it really does make sense. They double him with Barton. Here's Kuzma. Well, good with the triple. Denver's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Moutier kicks to Jokic. Shoots over Zubac. Denver gets it back. Jefferson dishes to Moutier. Here's Free, And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on Los Angeles. The Nuggets have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. And, guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. Shooting two.
and he knocks down the first one. And when the Nuggets are clicking on offense, Greg, they are a joy to watch. Uh, you know, they are, and, and one reason is because they're one of the better passing teams in the league. And right near the top in terms of assists per game last season, and all players on this roster at all positions look to make that extra pass to get an easy bucket. He hits both from the strike. There's 42 seconds left here in the second. Here's Ennis. The teardrop falls in. Ennis has got his third basket of the night. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. Now, here's Moutier. Tight defense on him. Over Ennis. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Yeah, he's costing them right now, sabotaging them a little bit. He's got to find his shot if they want to win this game. Shot's good by Clarkson. Tacking inside. Clarkson plays with a chip on his shoulder, like he's trying to prove something every night. That's not a bad way to play when you're young and up and coming. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Lakers lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Brooke. Where is this team right now? Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great group of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Smiles on your face, Brooke. Thanks for the time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Bernie Johnson here. Got Shaq. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They were able to squeeze ahead by the end of the period with just a one-point lead. Taking a look at the Lakers. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, I love that they were forceful at the offensive end. They got the shots they wanted. They played aggressively and got to the line. A strong attacking mindset. I like it. We'll see if they bring the same attitude in the second half, though. And that is just about going to wrap it up as the second half is moments away. Down to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew. The lights of downtown Denver shimmering in the background as we welcome you back to the Mile High City and the Pepsi Center. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Brandon Ingram with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, what a shot in the arm he gave them in that first half. The three ball just kept falling. Yeah, and you know what, as far as I'm concerned, keep feeding him. Got to ride the hot hand. Here's Murray. Chandler at small forward with Millsap the four. Murray and Harris in the backcourt, and it's Jokic in at the five spot. That's the group for Mike Malone getting going here in the second half. Chandler. Rebound the Lakers. Lopez has got rebound number five here tonight. The ten-footer. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got nine rebounds now tonight. Harris passes to Chandler. He wants to get the Millsap and does. Count that one. Millsap's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Nuggets. Lakers leading by three. Ball kicks to Nance. They set the pick. Here's Lopez. The dish to Nance. And there's the pass to Hart. Just five to shoot. Let's it go from 11. Tries again, and it's sent back by Jokic. Got to find a way to energize themselves, get going. 0 for 3, and they're looking for their rhythm right now. And that one's good. Millsap 
and defensively, this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, just a real lack of aggressiveness there right now. I mean, can't give up these types of layups to begin the quarter, Greg. I mean, that's a no-no. Here's Ball following the basket by Paul Milson. Ball dishes to Ingram. Looking to get it going. No good off the front iron. I think these are the shots he's got to avoid taking. I mean, already struggling. Uh, he's not helping his team right now looking at those shots. Murray, no good. L.A. has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Here's Ball. True on the 14-footer. Ball's got seven points in the game. And they get one. Now one of five here in the third. Harris outside. On the wing, Chandler. Jokic against Lopez. And it's sent back by Lopez. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And that one is off. And Lakers head coach Luke Walton got his start as an NBA coach in Golden State as a top assistant. He said, looking back, he would have paid to coach under Steve Kerr with everything he's learned. Wow, that's a high compliment from Walton. Kerr and Walton have very similar personalities, too. I mean, both are pretty even-keeled, low-key kind of guys. And when Kerr's back surgery sidelined him, Walton led the Warriors to the best start in NBA history. Pretty amazing. And Brandon Ingram, the second overall pick in 2016 out of Duke. What do you make of his rookie season? You know, very much a work in progress. You have to remember how young he is didn't turn 19 until three Shoot months two. before the draft and he's still real thin so he's got a chance to improve very quickly over the next few seasons as his body continues to mature the first one falls and Ingram the former Blue Devil an extraordinary player who only promises to get better and better So he hits both. And Clark, when you think back to your career, what do you miss the most about playing in the National Basketball Association? Well, you know, for me, Kevin, because my career was cut short due to injury, I missed the opportunity to see how good I could have been on a winning team, on a playoff team. Back in the early 80s, the Pacers were building towards that, and I never got a chance to be part of a playoff team. And the camaraderie you establish in going through the shared misery and joy of competing is something that's special and unique to sports, and you really don't find it in any other venue. They grab their own miss. Now, here's Ball. He's covered by Murray. Ball, the pass to Ingram. Lopez, a screen on Chandler. Second chance shot and misses it off the right side of the rim. And so far this quarter, he's been a little off on his game. Just a touch. I mean, it seems like he's forcing shots a little bit to me, Greg. Not playing his game right now. And with every miss, the pressure intensifies. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Now here's Millsap. Ten points for him. Here's Jokic. Nance with some nice D. The Lakers in the lead. Ingram kicks the ball. Back to Ingram. High post Lopez. On the high post, he drills it. Lopez has got 11 points. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Harris dishes to Millsap. Back to Harris. Chandler right side. Pass to Jokic. Over Lopez. Another miss by Jokic. Los Angeles leading by four. It's Ingram on the wing. Here's the three. 
Jokic grabs the miss. And you know, even with him struggling, they're still up. But they need him to find his rhythm soon. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And the strength of Murray. Finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? We've seen some obvious improvement in his free throw shooting since last year. Mason Plumley's checked in for Denver. a full package. I mean, he's a deadly shooter and a surprisingly good penetrator, too. A terrific guard. Now, here's Ball. He has seven. Here's Lopez. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Count the basket and the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Nuggets. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. And that one falls for Millsap. The Lakers trail. There's Clarkson. He's got five. Lopez a screen. The shot by Clarkson, no good. For Denver, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Martin passes to Jokic. And it's blocked. Here's the break. Plumley with the steal. Murray kicks to Millsap. Dishes it to Barton. There's the feed to Murray. To the middle. Here's Plumley over Nance. Plumley, no luck. LA has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Hart the pass to Clarkson. And it's sent back by Plumley. And here's the fast break. Now here's Murray. He's guarded closely. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And it's slammed in by Millsap. And, and Millsap just feeling it. Doesn't take much to get him going. Lakers trail by four. Marks and dishes to Nance. And it's Lopez at the elbow. Nams a screen. Here's Ingram. They can't stop the run with that one. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Right side, Millsap. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts, and a chance for one more here. And the Lakers breathe a sigh of relief this summer, retaining their lottery pick that had a greater than 50-50 chance of falling to the 76ers. And you know what, Kevin? That's a huge boost for the franchise, drafting Lonzo Ball. They kept their pick, but that means they will lose their 2018 pick. No upside to losing games this season. They're going all in. Lakers trail by seven. 
Ennis kicks to Randall. Back to Ennis. Picked by Randall. Here's Clarkson. It's good. The assist that time from Ennis. Ennis has got six assists now in the game. Such quick ups, Clarkson, giving the defense no chance to close out on him. Now here's Barton. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And the rejection by Zubats. Kicks to Ennis. That shot, no good. Barton with some nice D. The Nuggets leading by four. Millsap at the elbow. Feeds it to Moody. Millsap a screen. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Moutier's got nine points. And, and great pick there by Millsap. Just clearing out space. Pick by Randall. Ennis passes to Randall. Shoots from 12. Kept alive. And it's sent back by Millsap. Los Angeles, they have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw drops for Zubox. Well, the Lakers last season, the worst defensive team in the NBA. Again, offense was a little bit better. Uh, Clark, what's the key for them offensively? Well, I think a couple of things. One, ball movement, utilizing everybody. Last season, they were bottom five in assists, top five in turnovers. And that ratio, those numbers, not conducive to good offense. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's Jefferson, and Jefferson throws it down. Yeah, Jefferson, just great lift on these dunks. Whenever he's near the basket, he is ready to turn one over. Ennis kicks to Randall. Now here's Ennis. Martin defending. Lock at six. There's the pick. Ennis passes to Zubac. And it's sent back by Millsap. Pretty cool to see Millsap turn shots back. I mean, he's a mobile athlete. Oh! oh. And you can sense they're starting to take charge here. You know, they seem to be on the same page out there, Greg. I mean, definitely the momentum is with them. And the replay presented, of course, by Under Armour. Unleash chaos. Great stuff and some great basketball going on. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And that one drops for him. Millsap's got the lead up to eight now for Denver. And defensively, guys, they've lost something since halftime. I mean, they've given up open looks. They've got to buckle down and get some stops here. Play with some urgency. Now, here's Zubox. He averages a bit over six points a game. And you've got to give it up for Clarkson. I mean, he's a natural from mid-range. Denver leading by six. Boudier dishes to Barton. A screen by Fareed. Millsap misses. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. For Los Angeles, they have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Shooting two. 
And that one misses. It's the second from the line. One twenty nine left in the third quarter of the game. Moody kicks to Millsap. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Millsap's got 16 here in the second half. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got 10. Knocks down the three ball. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Clarkson against Barton. Right side, Millsap. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. And that one falls for Paul Millsap. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And he makes both free throws. Here's Ennis. He's got eight. And two for one. That's what they'd like to get right now. That would be ideal, and that's exactly what they'll try to do. They don't need to rush it. Just need to get a quality shot, and quickly. Now here's Randall. They trail by six. After Clarkson, there's the screen. Four on the clock. Rebound by the Nuggets. That, that was a half-hearted pick, and he was just going through the motions on that possession, and now it ends up costing him. And here's Ennis. Picked by Randall. Passes to Kuzma. Here's Zubats. Misses there. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And we'll be back with you shortly. Mike Malone moments ago with some words for his players. Let's build on it. Let's build on that quarter. No let up. Great defense, okay? That's who we are. Mike Malone citing the terrific D, wanting his guys to stay in character and keep pressing. Yeah, they're feeling their oats right now. Can they take it up, though, another level? Let's find out. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got ball. Ibiza Zubac is out there with Julius Randle. Then it's Ennis and it's Kuzma in at the three spot. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Lakers trail by eight. Ball with it. And he feeds it to Randle. There's the pick. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. Those three-pointers off the mark. Denver's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Chandler. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. 
and thus far they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's Kuzma, defended by Jefferson. Here's Zubats, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Zubats has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Lakers. Moutier kicks to Jefferson. Back to Moutier. Outside Jefferson. It's stolen by Randall. Kuzma passes the ball. Another shot. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. After playing just one season of college basketball, Randall entering the NBA with much fanfare. Uh, trying to live up to that lofty building now. Shooting two. First one falls for. And Randall, a dominant rebounder, but you know, Clark, can he man that center position for stretches, do you think? I don't know, Kevin. He's a little undersized, but he has the motor, he's got the timing and strength, just not the length. He's not a natural rim protector, but sometimes effort can overcome your weaknesses. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Harris kicks to Fareed. Chandler is screen. Moutier dishes to Fareed. Six to shoot. Back to Moutier. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Denver. And the Lakers making a change here. Lakers trail by four. Ingram kicks the ball. And he gets the bucket. You got to be composed when you go inside, knowing that you're going to have some contact and resistance facing you. Ball unafraid to get it deep inside. Now here's Murray. the pass to Jokic gets to the rim for two with the D all over him and the Nuggets lead by four defensively this is what you know he's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling as well he should Greg I mean he always is looking to score the ball even more so when he's hot I like the mindset now here's Lopez picked by Randall just five on the clock here's Hart Misses the three. Denver leading by four. Now, here's Jokic. Fareed the pass to Murray. Fades away. Again, the Nuggets score. And the confidence oozing from Murray. Just so efficient from the interior. Now, ball. He dishes it to Ingram. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Chandler kicks to Harris. And a miss there on the triple. Lakers trail by six. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Ball with it, all guarded by Murray. Ingram wide open. Los Angeles with another miss. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. And good that time. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Here's Ball. Wilson Chandler making his last shot. Ball, the pass to Hart. There's a screen. Lopez a screen. Here's Ball. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half, but since the break, he's been on target. 
Well, it seemed like destiny. The Lonzo Ball would end up with the Lakers. He found his way to the team he grew up watching. You know, and rarely do you see a team and player be such a perfect fit. But that's the case What's here. And, and the pressure will be on Lonzo to succeed in L.A., put a lot of faith in, in getting to the Lakers. And remember, he turned down workouts from every other team because he wanted to wear that Laker uniform. You know, you look at Ball's size and speed and confidence, very impressive. An exciting prospect who I think has an all-star future. Whoops, they pick off the pass. From down in the low post, it goes. Ball's got six here in this quarter. Here's Murray. Chandler down low, and it's blocked. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. I mean, his long reach really allows him to come up with a good number of blocks. And a pretty unorthodox slingshot shooting form for Lonzo Ball. He, Greg brings it up on the left side of his face. Yeah, but he's still got great balance, and the lower body mechanics are perfect. Good wrist action on the follow-through. Sometimes we get caught up so much in the motion to get Two to the shot. shot. It's about the release point. And when you get there with this guy and the confidence with which he plays, I think it's a non-issue. That's good from Ball. He doesn't get the second one. Denver leading by three. Harris outside. Jokic a screen. Now that's it's close, but you know didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Now here's Murray. Here's Harris. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got four rebounds in this game. Nance outside. Opens against Jokic. Addition now to Ingram. Just five to shoot. To tie it up. Los Angeles with another miss. You know, Kevin, this team is struggling a bit right now. I mean, I hope he can find his rhythm and start making his shots out there soon. Otherwise, dot, dot, dot. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Here is Plumley, following the basket by Brooke Lopez. Murray kicks to Jokic on the wing, Chandler. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. And the Nuggets making a change here. Millsap's checked in. Here's Hart. He kicks it to Ball. For Murray. They get the rebound. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Jokic. First free throw is good. And Larry Nance Jr. is a three time NBA All Star, Larry Nance, and both of them known for their big time dunking ability. Well, you know what I like to say, Kevin? You can't run away uh -huh. from the DNA. <laughs> His father was the NBA's first dunk contest champion, and Junior has some highlight reel dunks of his own, especially that one everybody perhaps saw over Brooke Lopez. What a punch. <laughs> right. It's stolen by Nance. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Hart. Sweet little floater. And the Lakers lead by one. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Lakers. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. 
Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. Hey, you know, the concern for Brandon Ingram was coming into the pros. He was slight. Didn't have much backside to him. Real lean. 6'9 under two bills. That's a bony guy. Yet, you want to add strength and not just weight. So uh, he's got an app on his phone reminding him to eat six times a day. And he's good on the second. And the Lakers have said they're going to let Ingram grow into his body gradually. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. You can be strong and lean. Sometimes weight put on lean bodies can do more harm than good. It's got to be the right kind of weight and strength. This is basketball. This is not the um, I did a trot where you're trying to pull and push something of heavy weight. This is basketball. throw good Murray and so Murray nails both of them Los Angeles has gone ice cold from three-point land, 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Ball with the bucket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. The Nuggets have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Right side, Millsap. Left side, Harris. Let's it go from 11. And Paul Millsap, the bucket on the assist by Harris. Harris has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Lakers have gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent. Lopez a screen. Pass to Hart. With the floater, and he comes up with the deuce. Hart's got four points in the quarter. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 10, 50 percent from the field. Here's Chandler, and Chandler throws it down. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Here's Ball. Denver getting their last shot to go. Lopez, a screen on Chandler. Here's Ingram. Breaks a big high bounce and goes in. And the Lakers lead by two. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Larry Nance. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. All right, thank you, David. Now, here's Millsap. Back to Murray. Six on the shot clock. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off.
And the first one at the line is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Ingram. And it's off from three-point range. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Here's Hart. That shot missing. And it's Denver the other way. Harris passes to Jokic. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. throw good from Nance. Both free throws good from Nance. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Murray dishes to Chandler. Got it. Good job in the low post. Chandler's got eight here in the quarter. And the precise passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the floor. To the inside, Chandler with the steal. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. He wants to get the Millsap and does. Chandler kicks to Murray. Four on the shot clock. Out to Harris to take the lead. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assists. And the Nuggets lead by two. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Here's Hart. Here's Lopez. Out to Nance. Dishes it to Ingram. Lopez sets a screen for Ingram. Over Chandler. And it's Ingram missing. And the defense that time was late. And you got to feel fortunate he didn't put that one away. Come on. Now, that is cold-blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing them deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. Ball kicks to Nance. Pass to Hart. They set the pick. Here's Lopez, sinks it, and he has brought them to within two points. Boy, those are the kinds of plays that Lopez is known for. Huge basket there. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Here's Millsap. Whistle blows. But that's going to be a travel. Randall's checked in for Los Angeles. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by two. 30 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Hart. And stolen by Harris. And now the Nuggets. Last break. Money! And now they are probably too far ahead. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back in this one. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Greg. I mean, they're in a groove right now, up big, hard to envision them losing this lead. Hart the pass the ball. And it's Jokic with the rebound. 
and Mills. Whoa! Talk about bringing it. Way to attack there off the dribble. Millsap showing great instincts in getting to the rack. Here's Ingram. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. So the Nuggets win it. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, here with Mason Plumley. A lot of points tonight. What was working so well offensively? Well, we're sharing the ball so well. It's fun to watch, I'm sure. But we have possessions where every guy might touch the ball almost twice. So when you get movement like that, it's hard to guard, and it's a fun way to play. You did have the defense on its toes tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.